Welcome to another episode of Profile. This week we'll be taking a look at the 4MS Quad Pingable LFO, the module pictured right here. This module is actually a four-fold LFO with a few not-so-typical features. Each LFO is color-coded, as you can see from the face of the module. The ping jack over on the left of each channel is going to allow you to sync each LFO to an external clock or a signal. Due to the built-in comparator at the input, you can send any waveform from a sign to a pulse. Each channel also has a manual ping button that allows you to tap the tempo of your LFO. So one, two taps, and your LFO rate is set. Each channel can also be selectively muted and or reset independently of the others. So if I press the on button, my LFO is now feeding out, as I can see over here by the LED, or I can shut it off, and no signal should be coming out of my LFO output. You can also set the wave shape of each of the LFOs from triangle here in the center, all the way to ramp down over on the left, or ramp up over on the right. And of course, anything in between. Each LFO can also be used in a one-shot mode via the reset jack found right here, and that will allow you to use each LFO as an envelope. There are various options for tempo syncing the quad pingable LFO. You can use things like the rotating clock divider, the shuffling clock multiplier, uh, also by 4MS, or the upcoming module called the quad clock distributor by 4MS as well. Of course, any other clock divider in your Eurorack system or LFO can be used, uh, as well as, of course, the aforementioned ping button over here. I'll just shut that off. Uh, there are a lot of under-the-hood adjustments possible with the quad pingable LFO. The outputs of each channel can be set to output a voltage from 0 to 10 volts or minus 5 to plus 5, in bipolar mode. This can be configured to unipolar, which was the 0 to 10 volts, or bipolar uh, via the jumper inside the module. There are also jumpers for each channel to set a different mode called the fire on unmute uh, mode. This resets the LFO when pressing from off to on. It's most useful when using one-shot mode. There are also internal headers within the quad pingable LFO, which will allow the individual LFO outputs to be used with the 4MS VCA matrix, the Topo Brio Mixiplexer with an adapter, or the upcoming shifting inverting signal mingler. An additional header connects to the upcoming 4MS quad clock distributor, as well as a third header inside the module, which is reserved for future use. Finally, for those handy in adjusting their trim pot, the trim pot can be set to interface with LZX video systems or adjusting the voltage required to trigger a ping or reset. As always, observe necessary precautions when making adjustments and, of course, read the manual. Thank you very much for watching today. That was the 4MS Quad Pingable LFO.